Hi everyone, um, for those of you that don't know us, I'm Ollie and this is uh, Alicia, my partner and business partner, life partner and business partner. Um, we are property investors ourselves, uh, just to give you a little bit of background about us, and uh, people started asking us to start doing HMOs and projects for them, so it's kind of like organically grown. Uh, and then we have a letting agency as well, and we specialise in HMOs basically in the Crawley Gatwick area. And we are standing in our 11th project that we've done in the last sort of yeah. few years. Uh, so it's a brand new project for a uh, new client of ours, which is quite exciting. Um, we've got four projects on the go, or about to be on the go at the moment, and uh, with a fifth one lined up as well. Um, so we just wanted to give you a little bit of a video tour because the plumber's already been in, been in today and started stripping out. Um, so we need to get in quicker because the, the full building team are coming in on the 2nd of September in a few weeks time. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to show you our, our new project so I'll let you explain it. Yeah, so this project was sourced by our client and he came to us saying whether we could manage the refurb and obviously turn it into um, a 6 bed HMO. So we've got a slightly smaller budget than what we normally use, or what we normally are used to with um, our properties. However, there's quite a few things in this house that we're actually able to keep, um, such as a couple of the bathrooms, and we're just going to add three extra bathrooms, and we're just going to a few of the rooms are just going to give like a, a look of paint. The flooring is actually quite good, so we're going to keep that. Um, a couple of them need a few extra plug points, but that's minor really. Um, and one of them's actually got really great storage that we're just going to change the fronts of. Um, try and make it look a bit more modern, but actually the storage behind it is quite good quality. So there's a few bits in here that we can keep, um, so that's good for the budget. Um, and everything else is, you know, we're managing to basically get everything on, on budget at the moment. We have done our preliminary um, figures. figures, yeah. Um, so we still need to get things for kitchens and things, but yeah, the building work's coming in on budget. Mm. Um, so yeah, we're going to turn it into a six bed, it's currently a four bed, so we're going to turn it into a six bedroom um, property, no sorry, it's actually a five bedroom already, but we're going to add an extra bedroom um, and we're going to add three bathrooms, so it will be a six bedroom, five bathroom property, um, so that continues with our ethos that any bathroom should only be shared by two people. Um, as a maximum um, to help rentability. So we're keeping to that with this project. I know our next project isn't going to keep with that. We've got a bathroom that shares three people, but there's not much else we can do about that. So, um, but yeah. So with this project, um, we are going to extend the kitchen a little bit because at the moment, what's in the kitchen, although the kitchen's not a bad condition, it doesn't actually meet uh, the standards that we need, the uh, immunity standards. So we're going to have to take away the kitchen and add in um, a new kitchen that has enough cupboard space for our tenants. Um, we're going to have a dining area, a lounge area, and then like I said, the six bedrooms and, and five bathrooms. So yes, we will show you around and you can follow the project along. Yeah, it should be quite a quick project, I'm hoping. There's not an awful lot to do, which is a famous last words. Um, but we're hoping to be sort of in and out of this job real quick, get the project up and running, quite straightforward, we're hoping. It should be, so we'll let you know, but you can follow it. Um, we really should try and do a weekly update as so long as we're not super busy, which we normally are, but I'll try and do my best to give you weekly updates, uh, if not every other week, or at least every three weeks. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically every month, every month. So by the time we do the next update, it'll be nearly done. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's give you a quick tour so you can get a bit of a scope. I was going to do it, but I actually I'll let Alicia explain. And then we'll do a little slidey slidey video. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Right, so as I just said, this kitchen, although it's not in a bad condition, doesn't actually meet standards. So we need to take it all out. And actually it's not been utilised, the space hasn't been utilised the best way. So we're going to take it all out, put a new kitchen in that's going to have all the cupboard space and the amenities that we need for a six person HMO. Um, so that's this bit, that'll all be changed. We've got the boilers ripped out today. Yeah, the, the boiler's been relocated and there was talk at some point of, of doing away with this door to better utilise the space in the kitchen, but obviously that has cost implications. 
um, for taking the door away. If we were to add a window, then we need to buy a window. So I've actually worked out a plan to utilize, leave that as it is, utilize the space that we've got, take a little bit of space from this room and fit in everything that we need to into the kitchen. So, um, this will become the dining area. Um, we're going to have some of the kitchen units along this wall to meet the standards that I said. Um, and we'll be able to leave this this door as is, so that's really good, cost saving, it's actually quite a nice door, all, all the um, double glazing in this property is quite good. Uh, we're going to leave the, the garden, we might take away some of the shrubbery, although I think it looks nice, but obviously there's an ongoing maintenance cost associated with leaving it, so it will be up to the client whether he wants to do away with some of the shrubbery or keep it. Um, and then coming into this area, which at the moment will still be the lounge area, but there'll be a wall going up somewhere in this part. So we'll have sofa, TV area, I think. Might change the, t the dining and the sofa area, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, and then this will become the bedroom that we're creating with its own ensuite, um, either here or there, not quite sure just yet. Um, and we might have to change this window just because at the moment it's quite a big window and also you can't open the windows very much so we might have to change that combination again. Fire safety. That's what I mean, yeah. fire safety. And um, so at the moment we're undecided but we'll come back to you on that. Um, front door probably stay as is. No, there's nothing really wrong with the front door. Um, this opening that you've just come through will probably be made smaller and so just a normal size door on there. And we'll probably keep this cupboard. Obviously, that's always nice for tenants to be able to put their coats and shoes somewhere. Storage in the hallway is really, really good. Um, so I'll just take you down this bit and miss this bit at the moment. This is just a cupboard which we'll probably just paint and keep as is. Again, it'll just be used as storage. Um, extra storage. Yeah, Hoover, that sort of thing. Extra storage is always a good idea. And again, this probably just lick of paint and keep it as is again extra storage shoe rack under there well that's what i was thinking no, well, well i was kind of thinking this might be a shoe rack because there's six shelves already so you've got laundry. six tenants huh put, build a shoe rack here and then put that for like laundry anyway there's options basically so this room like i said is one of the ones that will probably just keep a lot of what's here so Funnily enough, we've got the privacy blinds, which come all the way across and you can turn, seeing as this is the front bedroom. He's also got a blackout blind, so we don't really need to do anything in here. We might repaint the walls, but the walls look alright, might give it a fresh lick, um, and the flooring is fine. And then this bit, which is really cool, is the bathroom, which is in a really nice condition, so we're just going to leave it as is. The yeah. only thing I might do in here, and again it depends on the client and whether the client agrees, is move this light because it's stupid. It's in a really silly position. You could just keep it and just add another one. Well, I'm not sure that, I can't really see because the light's on, but that looks like it's, no one's actually fixed that properly. So when the electrician comes, I'm going to ask him if that is safe. Mm. And even if it is safe, I might get him to move it because you just get a massive shadow. So it's, a yeah. silly. But it's a really big shower. Yeah, it's, oh, really, it's a really good. And the decor is modern. Sometimes you might get modern. good quality stuff, but you put a medicine cabinet in there. Possibly. For storage and stuff. Possibly. Yeah, it's good. So yeah, this I think, and obviously we have to change the doors because um, there need to be fire doors. So this will be changed. We'll probably change that so that it matches. Um, because there'll be different styles on the lines. So yeah. Oh, and the, so the electrics in here need to be checked because this one obviously has some issue. Um, so we have, we get to meet with the electrician. He's going to come around and do a, an assessment and things in the net. So we'll probably be keeping this carpet and um, just give it a clean because um, it actually isn't in too bad a condition. Um, probably a good clean would just fluff it up a bit. So if I take you around clockwise. So this room is the one that I said has got really good storage that we're just going to take the fronts off and make more modern. So I know that this is a bit um, dated, let's say, but it actually has got it actually provides really good storage. 
and that really helps. So rather than taking it away, we're thinking we might just put a, a I can't remember what um, material they said, I don't, I don't think they said vinyl, but um, they're going to put some front on here so that you get rid of this detailing, because I think that detailing makes it look even, even older. And so we're going to get rid of that um, and keep all of these. See, like I said, you've got storage in here and then you've got this massive wardrobe here as well, which has got really great storage. This will stay with this. So you've got nice big um, mirrors on, so it makes the room feel bigger. Um, and the flooring, like in a lot of the rooms, is perfectly fine. It's got its own little desk with a plug point and again we've really just changed the front of that drawer we've got some little light as well already uh, we might keep the blind we might get rid of that depends whether that goes with the decor i don't think it will but they have left it so if, if you can utilize it, it's quite a big window so blinds that size normally cost quite a bit of money um, so potentially we keep that i'm not quite sure just yet obviously change the doors though to fire doors so this room is the smallest room and it, equally, it also doesn't have very many plug points. So we've got two plug points and so this room we're going to be putting in more plug points uh, for our tenants. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and this flooring we're going to change because we don't like this flooring. Um, the client asked for us, for us to change this. Um, and I, I don't know why, but they went through a, it was almost like a fashion where they started putting lights off centre and towards there. So I don't know why they do that. If someone knows the answer, I'd be happy to know, happy to find out. Um, but yeah, we're not going to change the positions, we're just going to leave them as they are, even though they're a little bit annoying. And then this is the bathroom. So again, it's, you know, Perhaps we wouldn't go for this if we were putting it new, but it's inoffensive, it's plain, it's neutral, it's absolutely fine. There's no dated borders or anything that you sometimes get. Um, it's got the, the mirror already in place. Uh, so everything seems fairly okay. The only thing that we might do just to freshen it up, and I need to run this past the client, is we might re-ground the floor, because that would make a real difference. That would make it look really quite new. So, it's all right. Yeah, but it might just. It's need... missing, may have thought, but... Yeah, so that's what I mean. If he doesn't want to spend the money, he doesn't, you know, we won't do that. But if he does, then I think that would make it probably the only spend that we'd do on this room would be that. No. <laughs> and I'm just breaking the house. We might need a new light as well, light switch. Um, so this is the, I'm not sure you really call it an airing cupboard, but this is where they're going to replace this for a bigger water tank. And I think this is also where they're going to put the... Um, cylinder. No, that, that's what I mean. They're putting yeah. the cylinder in here, but they're also going to put the boiler. So they're relocating the boiler to up here so we get that space down in the kitchen. And when I said to them, when I queried, I said, oh, surely the boiler has to be on an external wall. They said they're going to duct it through the loft. So they, they tell me that that's, that's per perfectly fine. So that's what they're going to do. Um, so then this will mean that this cupboard is utilised fully. And like I said, we can get the space from downstairs. This is then one of the last bedrooms. So this bedroom and the one I'm about to show you, there's a space here between them. So it's got a cupboard there and then like a little alcove here. We're going to take this away, take some of the space from next door and make two en-suites here. So this room and that room will have their own en-suites. We're not going to take any room from, any space from here because this is already, it's big enough but we don't really want to take much space away from it. So if you can see, you can imagine say a shower would go here or something and then toilet and basin in this kind of area and the same on the other side, then you'll see what I mean. Here's the cupboard. You see it's quite a big cupboard. Be able to fit it all in. And then this is the final bit. So as you can see, this one is much bigger than that one, so if we're going to take space from anywhere, we from here, so we can really take, say, a metre or something out of this corner, so you get two 
en suites. We might do we might do two in a line, we might do like an L shape against an L shape, that sort of thing. And it depends what kind of works best. Um, but other than that, um, potentially we'll be adding some more plug points, but other than building that, we'd be just decorating in here and adding the plug points. We're going to keep the flooring, even though we're going to be taking some of it away, so it'll probably be numbered and then it'll be relayed. Um, so yeah, take it all up, put it back down again, obviously without the the bit that we need, the bit that's going to be taken up from the new ensuite wall. Uh, but yeah, other than that, oh, one thing I haven't said is that we're going to have to be getting rid of these things up here because obviously this was the fashion at some point where they put the, the glass tops in, um, but they're not fireproof, so we're going to have to be doing away with those, put fireboard and then plaster over the top and then, then they'll be fireproof obviously with the, with the doors with the intermittent strips on as well, then we'd meet fire rates. So I think that's it really. Um, yeah, I can sort of see where we'll be keeping stuff um, because we, because it's perfectly fine and where we're going to be having to spend the money in certain areas. So yeah, I hope it'll be an interesting project for you to watch and we will catch up with you next time, whether that's a week or <laughs> bi-week or month or whatever. But yeah, we'll see you next time.